Next, we move to type 2, repeated factors. Denominator with repeated linear factors. Example, okay, A, let's say we are given 6x square minus 15x minus 8 over x minus 3 times x plus 5 square. Okay, to express this expression into a partial fraction, okay, we need to check the denominator. Okay, the first factor here is a linear. So, it will be a over x minus 3. The second factor also linear, x plus 5. But here we have power 2. Okay, power 2. So, power 2 means repeated linear factor. Okay, so it should be b over x plus 5 power 1 plus c over x plus 5 power 2 because we have here power 2. If he if this is power 3, means we will have the additional d over x plus 5 power 3. Okay? Okay. Uh, this one, we call it as repeated factors. Okay, let's say example B. Let's say we are given x minus 1 over x square times 3x plus 5. Okay, x square here is a quadratic, right? But actually, when we are given a quadratic factors, we need to check whether we can factorize or not the quadratic. Okay. For this case, x square actually we can get from x times x. x times x means it is a linear repeated. So, to express in a partial fraction, it should be a over x plus b over x square. And then, uh, the second factor here, 3x plus 5. Okay. Linear. So, it should be c over 3x plus 5. Okay, x and x square here, we call it as repeated factors. Okay, let's see this, this example. Express 7x over x plus 2 square in partial fractions. Okay. Okay, let's check the de denominator. Okay, in bracket, we have linear factors x plus 2 but we have here bracket square means it is repeated linear okay means to split into partial fraction it should be okay because it is linear factor in the bracket it will be constant in the numerator so a over x plus 2 okay this is power 1 okay plus because it is repeated two times so it will be plus b over x plus 2 squared. If we have power 3 here, means we will we, we'll have the other c over x plus 2 power 3. Okay? Okay, this is our first step. Okay, next, we continue with the same procedure of the uh, as before. Okay? We want to equate in denominator. Remember, the equating denominator does not Okay, does not cross multiply the right hand side. Does not cross multiply. Jangan darat silang belah kanan ni. Okay, sebab bila awak darat silang belah kanan ni, okay, denominator nanti akan jadi kuasa 3. Padahal kita nak yang belah kiri ni denominator cuma kuasa 2 sahaja. Okay, okay macam mana nak buat? Okay, to equate the denominator, okay, we have here 7x over x plus 2 okay power 2 okay so a a we have we already have power 1 so to make it power 2 so a must multiply with the other x plus 2 power 1 okay and okay b b we already have the same denominator as the left hand side right Left hand side, we have denominator x plus 2 power 2. B already have x plus 2 power 2. Means B does not uh, need to multiply with anything. Just B. Okay. So, this is over x plus 2 power 2. Okay. Okay, next. Procedure is equating numerator. Equating numerator. So, we have here 7x is equal to A times 
x plus 2 plus b. And then, use the same procedure, substitute the value of x to find a and b, okay? So, let, okay? To find b, we can make it a0. To make it a0, we will substitute x with negative 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0, right? 0 plus a is 0. So, let x is equal to negative 2. So, we have here, 7 times negative 2 is negative 14 is equal to b. Okay, next. To find value a, okay, we can substitute any number. Let's say x is equal to 0. So, substitute x with 0. 0 times 7 is 0 on the left hand side. Okay, is equal to 2a plus b. b is negative 14. Okay, so 2a we have is equal to 14. a is equal to 7. And then, uh, do not uh, forget to substitute back the value of a and b into the partial fraction. Okay, so our final answer should be Okay, 7x over x plus 2 square is equal to a. a is 7 over x plus 2. Okay, plus b. b is negative 14, so negative 14 over x plus 2 square. Okay, this is our partial fraction. Okay, let's see the other example. Okay, we want to express 2x plus 1 over x squared times x plus 2 in partial fractions. Okay, firstly, we want to split into partial fractions. Okay, let's see. What types of denominator do we have here? Okay, okay first one, we have x squared. x squared, actually, x times x, right? Means x squared here, we can factorize. So, it, uh, so this one actually is repeated linear. Okay, this is, x squared is repeated linear factor. So, it will be, okay, the first one is a, a over x. And it repeat two times. So, here is x power 1. Next is b over x power 2, x squared here. Okay, and then we have bracket here, x power 2, also a linear. So, it will be c over x plus 2. Okay, next step. Same procedure as before. We want to, uh, we need to equate in denominator. So, 2x plus 1 over x squared times x plus 2 is equal to a. a now we only have x power 1. But here we should have x power 2 means a we need to multiply with the other x. And also we need to multiply with x plus 2. Okay. Plus b. Okay, b we already have here x square. Okay, we have already have x square. So, we only need to multiply with x plus 2. And c. c we already have x plus 2, right? So, we just need to multiply with x power 2. Okay, so denominator here will be x square x plus 2. Okay, remember the denominator must be equal exactly as denominator on the left hand side. Okay, let's start equating numerator. So, now we have here 2x plus 1 is equal to a times x times x plus 2 plus b times x plus 2 plus c times x squared. Okay. okay, we proceed with uh, substituting value. Okay, firstly, let x is equal to 1. Okay, make it a0. So, the simplest uh, value is x is equal to 0. So, when x is equal to 0, 
So, we have here on the left hand side is 1 is equal to Okay, A is 0 This is plus 2B Here we substitute as 0, so plus 0 So, we will have here B is equal to 1 over 2 Okay, next Let X is equal to negative 2 Okay here, if we substitute x equal to negative 2, we can make it this term equal to 0. Because negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Also here, negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So, 0 times the whole thing here will be 0. Then we can find c. So, substitute, we will have here negative 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And then plus 1, we have here negative 3 on the... Okay, negative 3 on the left hand side is equal to... Negative 2 square is 4, is equal to 4C. So, C is equal to negative 3 over 4. Okay. Next. Uh, we can choose any number. Okay. To find uh, A. Because now we already have the value of B and C. Let's, let's say we uh, take okay, substitution. Let X is equal to 1. Okay, so when x is equal to 1, we have here 2 times 1 plus 1 uh, is 3 is equal to. Okay, here we have 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 times a is 3a. Plus 2 plus 1 plus 3b. And plus c. Okay, substitute back the value of b and c. So we have here 3a. Plus 3 times 1 over 2 minus 3 over 4. Okay, what is the value of A? From here, we know that value of A is equal to A is 2 over 3. Okay, now we already know. Uh, we already know the value of A, B and C. So, we need to substitute back into the partial fraction expression. So, the expression for 2x plus 1 over x squared times x plus 2, we can write as partial fraction. Okay, this is equal to A. What is A? A is 2 over 3 times x. Okay, plus B. B is 1 over 2. So, 1 over 2 times x square. And then minus C. C is, uh, and then plus C. C is negative 3 over 4 times x plus 2. Okay, so this is our partial fraction expression.